She's smart, she's stylish, you want to befriend her. She's a virtual Yeti bartender. It's Andrea. Hello, my fine friends, and welcome to another edition of the Yeti Bartender, where we take a Yeti, Tumblr Rambler, and shake it to create delicious cocktails. Today, we are making a wonderful margarita. It is sweet summertime, and here in the Midwest, it is strawberry and rhubarb season. So I decided why not combine the two for a little twist on the margarita. So let's get right to it with what we're gonna use. Today, I made a beautiful fruit syrup for our margarita out of the strawberries and rhubarb. I did a cup and a half of strawberries, a cup and a half of rhubarb, three tablespoons of sugar, and you could completely use Swerve and make this cocktail low carb, and a tablespoon of orange juice, totally optional. And I cooked that down on the stove. It was kind of like pie filling consistency, and then I strained it into a bowl and kind of just worked through the fruit, and it made this beautiful, beautiful syrup. And as always, the Friday after I post these on YouTube, I have a recipe on my blog, Living on Cloud Nine. So you'll have to check that out for the actual written recipes that you can print out. So anyway, of course, we're gonna need a tequila. We're gonna need an ounce of silver tequila. This is such a good brand, you guys. Agave nectar adds a little bit more sweetness without a lot of sugar, it's all natural. So I'm gonna use a couple teaspoons of that. We're gonna use a third of our yummy, yummy fruit strawberry rhubarb syrup, and then we're gonna use a tablespoon of lime juice. I'm so excited to make this for you. So you can rim your cocktail glass with sugar or salt. For this one, because of the sweet fruit, I like the tartness of the coarse salt. So I just use some sea salt, and it works perfectly. So you can just take one of your lime wedges and moisten the rim, like always. You know I love moistening these rims, let me tell you, I sure do. I think I'll try it with sugar sometime too, but today we're gonna do the yummy salt. So then you just put it in your salt, and the syrup recipe, you can get four margaritas out of that. You can just leave that in the fridge. It lasts for about a week and a half. Pretty. And with this recipe, the amount I just gave you, this makes one margarita, but of course you could double it or you could do it times four and use all your syrup and make sure you use a big Yeti for that one. But anyway, here we go. Let's make this pretty, pretty summer margarita. So we're gonna fill our Yeti half full of ice like we always do. That's usually the perfect amount. We are going to take an ounce of our silver tequila it's been a long time since I've had tequila. Cause usually I get a margarita at a restaurant, but you know, we haven't been going there. So perfection here, summer perfection. Then we are gonna take two teaspoons of the nice thick agave nectar. This stuff is so good. This is organic blue agave. You could use any kind of agave nectar. Then we are going to take our beautiful, beautiful strawberry rhubarb syrup and we're gonna do a third of that. And like I said, with Swerve, it's completely low-cal, all natural. Okay, we've got a third of that. And then I just squeezed a lime so I can get enough lime juice for one tablespoon for this. Yummy, yummy, perfect. All right, friends, here we go with the shake. As always, make sure that mag slider lid is closed and let's get to shake it. You want to shake it for about 60 seconds. I won't hear for the video, but usually 60 seconds gets all those flavors mixed really well. It's gonna be so yummy. Oh, I love this red color. Okay, you ready? Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, you guys, it is just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, and then we are going to take a lime slice to garnish that beautiful glass. And you know what? Let's just do a pretty little strawberry on the side too. I think that'd be just perfect. Oh, you guys, look at this. There you have it, a beautiful strawberry rhubarb margarita. 
Till next time on The Yeti Bartender, cheers.